Hi, I'm Justin, the author of View Formulate, and I have an exciting update about our next major release. For those of you who have been on GitHub looking for View 3 support, you may have seen that we've been planning a full rewrite. I'm happy to say that it is well underway at this point, and we're thrilled with the improvements that we're seeing. In fact, this rewrite represents such a significant improvement, we've decided to launch it with a new name. So I'm excited to announce the next version of View Formulate will be called FormKit. The current version of View Formulate will continue to receive updates and support. It'll keep its name too, but this next major release with View 3 and all major releases moving forward will be under the FormKit name. Now, the View Formulate code base and its feature set is pretty extensive. So why are we going through all the trouble of rewriting the package just to add View 3 support? Well, the reality is uh, we're not just adding View3 support. Most people building forms with View Formulate will have never hit a serious snag, but advanced users will have inevitably run into some intractable problems. For example, there's a longstanding issue with performance when dealing with really large forms, especially large repeating groups. The forms sort of bog down and it requires debouncing to keep the interface fluid. And because View Formulate uses computer props behind the scenes to track all of its internal state, a lot of stuff is being unnecessarily re uh, recomputed when a user types. So in FormKit, we actually started by writing low-level tree algorithms that would be extremely performant while still producing the side effects that we want, like knowing the validation state of the whole form or if someone is currently typing. And this means that you can have massive forms with virtually no performance degradation and still get all the benefits of state tracking. Another real world challenge for View Formulate has been the lack of TypeScript support. So I'm happy to say FormKit is now written in TypeScript, support is baked in, and there's lots of other improvements like much more flexibility with the DOM structure. And you can structure your inputs and your data any way you choose, arrays or objects. There's input masking and the ability to easily create your own input masks much better support for asynchronous validation rules, better support for Tailwind um, or other utility class systems. There's going to be new and improved documentation and even better accessibility. So we're really excited. And there's lots of other great features too that we're gonna announce later. But there is one more thing. While FormKit will be a much improved successor to View Formulate, we felt that a huge missing piece of the form building experience is what we call synthetic inputs. So we define synthetic inputs as those that are not native to HTML. You're already familiar with this class of inputs. I'm talking about things like autocompletes, multi-selects, tag lists, button groups, rich text editors, and a lot more. And this is often why developers reach for form libraries in the first place. These kind of inputs take a ton of effort to build right with good testing and theming and accessibility. In fact, it's rare they're even done well at all. So of course it was possible with View Formulate to create these, but it did take a lot of effort. So with FormKit, we're gonna introduce a commercial package that offers a whole bunch of extremely compelling synthetic inputs. So to be clear, FormKit, the View Formulate successor is open source, it always will be, but there's this new add-on package with all of its advanced inputs. It's gonna be called FormKit Pro and it will be available as a paid plugin. We'll have more details about that as we get closer to launch, but I think for actual commercial projects or for your clients' websites, it's gonna be an absolute no-brainer. Now, what's with this alpha program? So today we're announcing that FormKit is the next version of Uformulate, but we are also announcing that we're taking applications starting today for people to join an alpha program. And the purpose of this is to get honest and good real-world feedback from a smaller group of actual users before we finalize any developer APIs. So if you're a View Formulate user, you should really consider applying. People in the alpha program will be added to the FormKit repository and given access to the FormKit NPM package as well as a private Discord so we can have really good high bandwidth discussions about your feedback. We're really looking for people to kick the tires. So if you're willing to spend a little bit of time checking it out to provide feedback, please apply. And of course, if you missed out on the alpha program, please still submit an application because we're gonna do something uh, similar with a beta program, open it up to a much larger group of developers before the final release. Again, thanks for being a user of Uformulate. We're super excited about the future of this project and we look forward to getting to know you and hearing your feedback during the alpha program.